Borderlands is a movie I've been waiting over three years to see since I first heard it mentioned on the Bad Friends podcast by Bobby Lee. And just like most of you on the internet, the longer I've waited to see this movie, the less I've wanted it. At this point, I have not seen the film, so this is not my full review. This is just my thoughts. But there will be a Gen Z one minute or less movie review coming out on both my YouTube and TikTok later this week. Based on what I've seen online, it is a major letdown. For example, some reviews have started popping up on IMDb as of 6 p.m. today, and there's almost 200 reviews and an outstanding 5.2 average. Consider this. Most of these people are either reviewers or were just lucky enough to go see it at the premiere in LA. Before looking at a couple of reviews, I would like to mention to not take this all with full seriousness because my favorite movies on IMDb get between a four and a six. It's never perfect, it's never exact, and you all have your own opinion. All right, let us vault hunt through these first three reviews. Number one from user Spooky60, we are getting a four out of 10. Let's dig deep. Title. Another failed video game adaptation. This adaptation strips everything that was fun about the Borderlands games. The plot is as generic as they come. Even the shocking twist was laughable. The jokes mostly don't land. Claptrap is amusing, but nothing to write home about. Most action scenes are completely unwarranted and seem to serve the short runtime or the absence of plot. Most of all, it seems as though the only thing they kept from the original games are the characters' names and locations. If that doesn't scream exciting, then I don't know what does. I do gotta say, the things that I hear here are really letting me down. Let's take a look at another one. Maybe this is just an offshoot. User M1Z gives us a nice five out of 10. Title, underwhelming to say the least. The only part that was interesting in this movie is Claptrap's lines, which were cheesy most of the time, as they should be. Absolutely mediocre live action adaptation. Movies like this should be exciting and unique, with a one-of-a-kind twist that's newly introduced to the series. You as a director have so many characters and depth to work with in this universe. Yet the director decides to use the most generic and repetitive plots. It goes without saying that the acting in this movie was good, and the resemblance of the actors to their original counterparts were not as accurate as it could have been. Overall, such a shame to see this coming from a franchise this big. Honestly, seeing a lot of what I saw on Reddit recently and over the past few months, if almost a year, people are really agreeing with most of these points and it's coming true. Next, we have a review from A Man A Man giving it another five out of 10. Can't believe Ariana was the only fun thing about this movie. It's just generic and predictable storyline, no imagination whatsoever, and all of the characters are boring and have nothing to do. And the villain is so boring and generic, the acting is not good. I can't believe most of the Oscar winner actors got outperformed by a kid. The jokes are not funny, zero chemistry. I also don't believe the world building doesn't feel real. The robot was funny and annoying at times, but Ariana's performance was really great, so just a generic movie. As per usual with these game adaptations, the characters are there, but do they really match what they were? Did anybody actually play the game or read on the lore or look into it at all besides looking at their name and a picture of them? I originally was going to just look at Reddit predictions here, but all of them are accurate, so there's really no point. I mean, here's a couple on screen if you really want to see from hundreds of days ago. I like just how accurate people were saying that the director did not go in the right direction and people weren't following everything they needed to. It just... It just didn't happen. I bet most people are going into this film with a hesitant feeling. I myself played Borderlands 2 like crazy when it came out and I've played it across multiple devices and systems. I may not be super in depth with everything within the story or followed every game, but I absolutely love the way that game came out. The way I connected to the characters, the storyline, and the places, I really hope there's at least something that brings me in. In my opinion, I'd like to start with what I think will be done well. One, seeing the many destinations we've seen before in a new light and new depth and more to it. Definitely having Jack Black play Claptrap. That's hard to say. Now say it three times fast. I really feel like he's the only one that has that high energy and could just get out there and be real with it, you know? Because Claptrap wasn't really a serious character. At times he would be, but mostly was silly and goofy, and I feel like Jack has a really good way of playing that. Honestly though, I would have liked to have seen one of the old voice actors come back and do him, because we really don't need a celebrity to be in a position where there's no actual acting. It's all voiceovers, so... Why bring someone else in besides the name, I guess? That doesn't always sell a movie to me, but it kind of does get me excited. And number three, well, that's actually it. Now, on to some things that I definitely will not like and agree with a lot of the people I've seen online. First off, if you've ever looked at a Borderlands cover, it's rated M. So why did the movie get a PG-13 rating? Does that mean we're gonna be missing a lot of the action, the blood, the gore, the dirtiness, the language? And once you strip that all away, what makes Borderlands special? It's just Doom and Mad Max and whatever else in that kind of area mixed together. Next, this is more of a gripe in the fact of who's working on the film because how many of these people have actually ever 
played a Borderlands game or even checked any of the series out. Because if you have no idea what to start from, how do you build upon what's already there? I don't want you to be bringing in new storylines, new characters that just don't make sense. I want it to all fit into what I've seen and what I've played before, as I'm sure most of you do. We've seen enough game to movie adaptations and they've always gone bad due to A, making it for Hollywood and B, making it for everybody else. And if you've never seen a game to movie movie, I'm gonna put two lists down below. There's over 50, over 50 of them and not a single one of them I have ever heard, you gotta see this, that was great or even remembered in my mind going through it. I was like, I've seen that, but it's not memorable at all. Let me know down below if you've seen any of the movies on that list and what you really think about them. This is what leads me to what stands out the most and is probably the biggest reason why I think this film will not work. The characters, the characters, the characters. All over I've seen, none of them match the resemblance of who they are playing. Yes, Kevin Hart is black, but that doesn't mean he instantly gets to play a black character. For example, Kevin is 5'4". Roland, 5'11", and throughout all the games, I've never once stopped and said, wow, he looks like a funny, cool guy. Kevin, goofy, looks like he'd be a fun hang. Completely opposite mashing characters. And then you have Gina Gershon playing Moxie. Is she still gonna have the same old knockers that we remember? I mean, the story, it just sounds like they've took a page right out of the hero's journey that we've seen a hundred thousand times and put it right back down and did it again. There's tales of redemption an unlikely group of people coming together for one objective and one thing that they all come together to do that will save the whole world or else it's all gonna crumble around them. TBH, I just wanna see some badass fighting and that's it. But how can they even do that without my favorite maniac, Gunzerker, Salvador? I just wanna see him run up there. Dude, that would be amazing. Instead, they cut him out because they didn't want a good movie. Side note, Hart would have actually been better in this character because they're actually the same height and uh, Kevin's pretty jacked. So I think he could put on a couple more pounds and just go out there. There is so much more I can say and we can discuss down below, but I don't need a critique video before seeing the actual movie that is longer than the movie. All around, I am excited to see some of my favorite characters on the big screen, as well as the many hundreds of thousands of weapons that we've played with and maybe even some cool locations that are expanded and have more depth and detail to them. Let me know your thoughts both before and after seeing Borderlands. And if you'd like to see my Gen Z one minute or less movie review later this week, make sure to subscribe or check my link down below for TikTok because they also go there too. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.